Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. There might be times when you have an Excel sheet where you want to switch the rows and columns, kind of like rotating at 90 degrees. Now, there's a quick way you could do that by copying and pasting, but that's a one-shot deal. You might sometimes want to do it dynamically, and that's where the transpose function comes into play, introduced in the 365 editions of Excel. That's what I want to show you today. So let's take a look and see how it works. So let me show you how to do transposing as a one-shot deal before I show you a more dynamic way of doing it. Now I'm recording this in the Mac version of Excel and it works the same way both Windows and Mac. So here's what we do. I'm going to select everything, uh, including the column headers and the total row down below. And I'm just going to copy to the clipboard. So I'll press Command C or Control C in Windows. Scroll down here and what I want to do is I want to have these uh, column headers, the months, going down column A and all of these product names I want going across as a row. So I'll just click, let's say here on A20 and on the home tab on the ribbon where we have the paste button, I click this little down arrow and you see this very last one here, transpose with the little curved arrow. I click it and boom, it does it. This is a little different between Mac and Windows. On the Windows version, you'd see a little preview on the sheet. On the Mac, you don't see a little preview. I'll just hit the escape key to clear off the marching ants and we're done. So we have the months going down column A and the products going across the row. The thing is, this is just copied and pasted. So if anything changes up in the original, it will not be reflected uh, down on bottom. So let's say, for example, uh, vanilla coffee in January is uh, 1692. Let's say I make that 2000. And I see here is January and there is vanilla coffee in January. It's still that same amount. So there is no connection between the original and what I pasted. What if I do want there to be a connection? Then I use the transpose function. Let me show you the syntax of that. So the transpose function was introduced in the 365 editions. And it's very simple. You just say equals transpose and feed it a range. That's really all there is to it. So now what I'm going to do is I will go down, let's say to row 30, and I'm going to say equals transpose. And when I type the first few letters, I see that transpose is available. If you don't get that little suggestion on yours, it means that function is not available on your machine. I'll just hit the tab key to finish typing that in and I feed it the array. So now I will select the same area as before, including the column headers and that total and hit enter. And there we go. So you notice there is no formatting that comes with it. This is a spill function. You can tell by that uh, border around it. Also, there's the cell where I put in the function and up in the formula bar, you can see there's the function where normally if I click any of the other cells in this area, it's grayed out. Also, you notice that because there was this blank row here on row 16, we now have this blank column with zeros. And because it's a spill function, we can't really edit it directly. So if you want to get rid of it, like if you try to select it and hit delete, nothing happens. Or if you, let's say, maybe right click and try to delete and shift cells left, nothing is going to happen. So you are kind of stuck with that. If we go up and remove that entire row, now you notice that it gets fixed. But we can't take this what's in column L and drag it over into column M if we want that space because it's all part of that spill function. But the advantage is what if something changes? Now if I go up, here's that vanilla in January and I take that vanilla in January and I make that 3000. Now that vanilla in January doesn't change where I copied and pasted, but here where I'm using that function because it's dynamic, that does make that change. So there are some advantages and disadvantages to each method. 
And that's really all there is to it. Sometimes you might want to use one, sometimes you might want to use the other.